Graffiti artists at work in Mexico City, but this time it's legal. Monumental murals like these are becoming increasingly common in the capital, and its creators are following in the footsteps of Mexican mural giants such as Diego Rivera. Not only is this wall painting a local inner city market sanctioned, it's actually the local government that's behind it. A dedicated unit from the local police is creating free spaces for grafiteros to do their thing. Se le quitó lo anti -graffiti. In 2008, our anti-graffiti unit became the graffiti unit to give young people fair and free spaces to paint legally, accompanied by a police patrol car instead of chasing after graffiti artists to stop them from painting. The aim of the police project is to get rid of graffiti like this, which is common throughout Mexico City. And the idea is that by opening up spaces, it will encourage graffiti artists to paint more pleasing images. Like many works by the great muralists such as Diego Rivera or Jose Orozco, these designs carry images and messages backed by the state. But here at the Diego Rivera Museum, this specialist says there's a new generation of artists who are even more rebellious and independent than their mural forefathers. Whereas Orozco, Siqueiros and Rivera go over the past, the new artists do that too, but using more recent histories such as drug violence and recent social problems, there's a much more rebellious tone and much more creative freedom because they are in free spaces, the street. Not all of Mexico's neo-muralists are government-backed. Artists such as Samir combine the adrenaline of illegal painting with his own independent designs that adorn the streets as well as gallery walls. I don't work on political campaigns because I don't want my work to be tied to any political parties. I prefer to express my own opinions. Whether it's official government messages or social protest, Mexico's muralist tradition is alive and well. Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.